they are traveling like they are pushing them from their village that they will never ever 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 come back to their country God your father man welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by if you're new here my name is Esther Ogala I am a youtuber based in Hull England on this channel I share UK updates tips and opportunities for international students and lifestyle content so if this is some of the things that you love ensure you become part of this amazing family by hitting the subscribe button on your screen also turn on your notification bell so that you get notified every time that i post a video hit the like button and share september is around the corner yes it's that time to welcome new students a couple of days i've had messages around airlines to use tickets agents and all of that so in this video i'll be answering all this and more if this is something that you're interested in or you know someone who needs this information ensure that you share and stick to the end of this video in choosing an airline to fly with i must say that there are certain factors that you have to bear in mind some things are not even negotiable say price you have to work with your budget second will be flight duration and layover you need to know what you like do you dread traveling long distance or you do not mind Three will be reputation and reviews. Reviews obviously from people that have flown with these airlines, you know, from what you've heard, what you've seen and stuff like that. Number four will be entry requirements like COVID certificate, yellow card, transit visa and so The on. fifth one, which is very important because some people, when they are traveling, they are traveling like they are pushing them from their village. That they will never ever 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 come back to their country you get so if that's you or you know somebody that's like that eh tell them to ensure that baggage allowance are some of the factors that they consider when choosing to fly with an airline with these factors in mind i will be dissecting some of the airlines that i think does it for me number one on my list is british airways you seek a reliable choice with comprehensive service and price not to concern you like that for your budget then this airline is for you if price is stopped here for you on your budget there's no need to stress yourself with british airways because its fare is not one of the most budget friendly options with british airways travelers are entitled to 23 kilogram baggage allowance and a smaller carry-on bag for like 10 kg the sweet thing about this airline is that there are no layovers seven hours straight they also only need your valid travel visa that's like the major requirement and you are most likely to never experience flight delays number two on my list is virgin atlantic same with what you have with british airways only that it takes for like six hours 30 minutes to seven hours so it's a straight flight no layovers stylish and comfortable cabins if you know that you dread traveling for long and price is not the major thing on your budget then yeah this is fine it's virgin atlantic you're allowed one 10 kg carry-on bag and one 23 kg checked in bag number three on my list will be ethiopian airline this is another one that gives you value on a cheap rate for baggage allowance you have one 7 kg carry-on and two 23 kg check-in for adults you're also allowed one baby stroller or one baby car seat as long as your baby is on board infant allowance is one kg carry-on and one 23 kg checked in the only thing that i would say i don't enjoy with this airline will be the layovers which is sometimes three hours to six hours in addis ababa but then again good thing is that most of the layovers are actually compensated by the company through lodging so say your layover is for like six hours you will be lodged but if it's three hours my dear just enjoy the view in addis ababa and catch up with your next flight for this one you need a yellow card and a covid vaccination card to show 
aside your boarding pass so in case you choose to fly with ethiopian airline ensure that you get a yellow card and your covid vaccine card from any healthcare center around you in nigeria lagos abuja or Port for like 20k if you go and board or you attempt to want to board without them you pay more than that fourth on my list is royal air maroc this airline cuts it for me only because of the layover and yet yeah, the price say you can't afford to do british or virgin and you still don't want to spend so much time on the road flying because you dread it royal air maroc can be your best option layovers are only two hours in casablanca morocco it is budget friendly it's a good option for students coming with their families if you ask me baggage allowance for this airline is 110 kg carry-on and 32 kg checks in so how you divide your 32 kg is left for you but it has to be 32 like it's summed up totally as 32 kg but I advise that you share your loads in two weights. Make sure you scale it before you get to the airport so that you're certain that it is the required kilogram. There's also room to pay for excess luggage just in case you are above. You have packed all the load. All the load you have. You have packed it. You can pay for excess luggage. It should be around 50 to 100 depending on the weight and they'll tell you what it is. We can price my major problem with this airline is reputation excuse me sir why do you think that the aircraft you used to carry people from nigeria is not the aircraft you used to drop them in the uk why anyways is the nigerian aviation leadership that i blame because the airline they used to be you from Nigeria, you will be, you be wonder. But when you now get to Casablanca, you now see the airline they used to pick you. You now see, ah, ah, so it's Nigeria that can accept rubbish. To fly with Royal Air Maroc, you do not need a yellow card, you do not need COVID vaccination card. But take this hint from me ensure that you label your baggage well what did i say ensure that you label your baggage very well because i've heard a lot of people say they do not see their bag the bag did not come as they came the bag came before they came the bag came after they came and i've also heard some people say that yes yeah, so true the bag didn't come when they came but the bag was delivered to their uk address so in order to just avoid all this, please ensure that you label your bag very well. Write your name, your permanent address, your destination address, that's the way you're going to in the UK, your phone number, your email address. If you like, say, write your nickname. Make sure it is very bold on your baggage. Just to avoid story that touches the heart. Before you now reach the UK, it's you and clothes that reach. Two stuff on call have not come. We're gonna see some. Last one on my list is Qatar Airways. This is another good one with a reasonable amount, but the layover is is laying over. There is a long layover in Doha, Qatar. If you like excursion, you know some of us we do love history. Do love to know about places. You know if you are like that and you do not mind then qatar airways should be it for you because you will do excursion that layover is excursion tell me why i'm waiting seven hours ten hours eight hours inside doha airport the thing with qatar airways is you are most likely not going to have your layovers compensated with lodging in our hotel except you have very long layovers very long layovers that can be like say 10 hours um seven eight hours or 12 hours but other than that enjoy your excursion in doha troll take pictures 
see the beautiful airport. Who knows? Maybe you can meet your Arabian friends. <coughs> The main reason why they are having long layovers at the Doha airport is so that passengers can explore Doha because I tell you, it is indeed a beautiful airport aside from the one in Singapore. Agage allowance for this is 1.7 kg hand luggage and 1.25 kg checked in. With Qatar Airways, you're entitled to carrying either your baby stroller or your baby caught for free. No yellow card required, no COVID vaccine card required, and no transit visa also required. And there you have the top airlines to fly with in 2023, budget friendly and less stressful procedures. In case you're wondering why I didn't mention airlines like KLM, Lufthansa, Brussels Airlines, Air France, and so on. That's cause they require transit visa even though the layovers are in their country like the country the airlines originate from like Belgium, France, Germany and Netherlands. They expect you to have a transit visa even though you are not stepping out of the airport. So don't think you probably get the transit visa and transit like the visa states is a transit visa. It is allowing you transit through that country to another country but then again why would you want to go through that stress being that the prices for airlines these days are ridiculous with the exchange rate and everything you still want to stress to do transit visa for like 100 to 150k anyways i forgot that some people are odogo and odogo rest so they might want to jump on that option. So yes, if you love options like that, please and please, I am not against it. Ensure that you check out KLM, Air France, Brussels Airlines and Lufthansa. But if you know that you're not going for excursion, you're just traveling to the UK. I don't see why you should hop on those airlines. Did you enjoy this video? Let me know in the comment section. Did you find it useful? What are some of the additions that you love to see? Let me know in the comment section below. Please and please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, guys, in case you don't know, we are very close, very close to wonky. And it's shocking that on this channel where I spill teas, we are not even up to 1k yet please and please subscribing is free just hit the subscribe button and that's all auto finish please hit the subscribe button and like this video share so that youtube can do their thing by suggesting to people who need content like this until i see you my next one keep on being amazing keep on being fantastic and keep on doing you Love and light always, guys. Bye.